So in this video, I'd like to just explain my stances on um, the issues I have chosen to politically participate in, or the ones I plan to in the future, and um, explain how I do how I plan to do that. So the first topic that I plan on politically participating in is the Second Amendment, supporting it. Nowadays, there are people who oppose it due to um, them thinking it's outdated since it was written back before guns were as, van as advanced as they are now with like higher firing capacities and being easier to conceal nowadays, that type of stuff, easier to acquire as well. Um, as well as them thinking the Second Amendment doesn't mean we shouldn't have guns altogether, but just certain types of guns shouldn't be um, available to get specifically just assault weapons like AR-15s um in my thinking anything can be an assault weapon a baseball bat can be an assault weapon uh your hand can be an assault weapon if it's used for assault but if it's used for self-defense or for sport or for hobby like many people use guns then it's just a gun it's not an assault weapon um many people many uh, gun owners they use their guns as sport they use them as hobbies they like to customize them, they like to shoot them for fun. And then on top of that, they're used as self-defense for in case if they ever need it. No one ever buys a gun and plans on killing someone with it. Rarely would that ever happen. And if that would happen, it would be a criminal, and a criminal most likely would not be able to get a gun legally. They'd have to get it illegally. So that just makes the issue, why would we ban guns when criminals can get guns anyway? It won't do anything. Banning guns will not do anything to get criminals to not commit shootings and not shoot each other. So, uh, going off that, the ways that I plan on politically participating and supporting the Second Amendment would be once I'm 21, um, I'm going to get a firearm and I'm going to get a permit that allows me to carry it. And along with that, I plan on either supporting or joining the NRA, which promotes gun safety and the use of guns and the Second Amendment as a whole. And on top of that, supporting pro-gun candidates while voting. The second topic I'd like to address is abortion and my stance on it, which is pro-life. I'm a Christian, so that'll tell you a lot about that already, about my stance. Um, I feel like pro-life is the way to go besides only a few circumstances, such as uh, rape victims, incest victims, and pregnancies where the mother's affected and could possibly die due to complications. These circumstances, I can see where getting an abortion is okay. But other, other ones such as not being able to afford a child, not wanting it because it was a mistake, that type of stuff, that's just irresponsibility and being immoral to me. Um, there's no reason why you should kill a child just because you made a mistake because you were irresponsible because you couldn't use a contraceptive like anyone else um there's no reason to kill a child over that own up to your mistakes and deal with it <laughs> take take responsibility with your actions you did something wrong you gotta make it right you can't just kill someone and call it a day and get over it that's just so wrong um, and it's not like being proactive is that hard and they have, there, there's plenty of contraceptives that are cheap or even free in forms of birth control that are free. And if you're not ready to possibly have a child, then just don't, it's not that hard. Uh, it just, and then you would completely avoid having to have an abortion and, in total. Also, it would probably be saving you money, so you wouldn't have to pay for the abortion. Uh, on top of that, uh, how I planned on supporting it politically, um, I once again plan on voting for the right people who also don't support abortion or only support it under the circumstances that I previously said. Uh, I plan on possibly spreading awareness to abortions and what they are 
and why they're wrong. Uh, that would most likely be done through church, church activity, stuff like that. Uh, spreading awareness to people in my life who are thinking, who would be possibly thinking about having one. Um, and just being proactive myself, taking the right precautions to not wind up in that situation where getting an abortion would be the only way out. Um, or even if, if, um, I was ever put in a situation where I was an adult, obviously, and where if adoption would save a child's life from not being aborted, I would adopt the child so that they wouldn't get aborted until they'd have a chance at life with someone who loves them and someone who doesn't think that they're a mistake. And for my third topic, um, is that I don't support the free college ideology that, um, many possible presidential candidates have come up with in like 2016 and 2020, mostly Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren have proposed the free college plans, which would supposedly make college free for everyone, no costs or anything, no strings attached. But on the surface, this is not what it sounds like. Um, free college for all would not be free, obviously. It would have to be paid for by some someone. Colleges don't just run for free. They have bills to pay. So the duty of paying for that college would be thrust on the taxpayers. And as someone who's going to be paying taxes very soon, I don't want that. I don't want to have to pay for someone else's school, especially if they're just handed to handed it to them, handing their f education to them for free, because they aren't going to treat it like they earned their way into it, that they worked their way into it. They're going to treat it like it's high school, and there's a lot of people in high school that slack off and are there just because they have to be, and I don't want college to be like that. College is a privilege. College is not a right. It's a privilege. Also, there are many types of jobs that don't require college education that people can look into that don't 